More children and teenagers are developing type 2 diabetes. Type 2 was formerly referred to as adult onset diabetes. Doctors are looking at ways to help these children, and a new study finds diabetes is harder to treat in children. Dr. Diane McAllister joins us every Wednesday, as you know, and we've asked her to focus on these new findings. Briefly, Dr. Diane, remind us of the difference between type 1 diabetes and type 2, the adult onset. It's an important distinction. Type 1 diabetes is the type that children most often develop, and that's where the body stops making insulin, and without insulin, the blood sugars get high. And it, when we treat those children, we have to use insulin, and then they get put on diets. Now type 2 diabetes is where the body is making insulin but the cells where the insulin works become resistant to it. So actually they have higher insulin levels than the rest of us but their blood sugars are also high. In this type which is most commonly associated with obesity um, we use diet and exercise and weight loss as the primary treatments. Talk a little bit more about the tie to obesity. It makes it very difficult for these children. Let's talk about the impact on overall health. Well, you know, the concerning thing is we're seeing more and more children being obese and overweight. In fact, um, our rate in the state of all of us getting overweight is growing, but children are growing much faster than the general population, and obesity is tied to the development of diabetes. Now, there's a new study from CU in Boulder that looked at whether a medication could have an impact. What did it find? This study was fairly interesting. They took um, adolescents and used metformin, which is a treatment for diabetes, and then they used different other combinations with it to see which was most effective. The concerning finding that was found was that between 39 and 47 percent of the children were, were resistant to the treatment that would have worked in adults. And so children are harder to treat yeah, it seems so unfair that they're uh, having difficulty with this medication and using it to help the children. So what are the long-term effects for these kids? Well, you know, um, it's scary because the long-term effects of diabetes include heart disease, kidney failure, and um, eye problems. And because they're more resistant to treatment, um, they're going to develop this, these complications earlier in life than you would hope. Do we know why the children and teenagers are harder to treat? You know, that's kind of the unanswered question out of this study. Um, there's some theories that the authors have which include that something about the rapid growth rate of teenagers and their hormones um, are affecting this, but it's going to take more studies to really determine that. And they've been working on it for a long time. Yes. What's the solution? Well, you know, this is a preventable disease, and so the solution is to keep your children at a normal weight. Um, we know that their diet and exercise, that we're eating more and exercising less, and that's contributing to the obesity in children. The other interesting finding um, that's coming up is that poverty is linked to the obesity because they can't afford the good nutrition of fruits and vegetables. All right, it's an ongoing problem, it a is. chronic problem in our uh, society, and it seems to be getting worse in a lot of different cultures. It, it is, and you know, the scary statistic I heard this week was um, if you took our state, which is one of the leanest states in the United States, and took our weights now and put them back in 1995, we would have been the most obese state in the country in 1995. So the rate of obesity is really on a steady, quick climb. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Diane McAllister. She is the Chief Medical Officer at Centura's Porter Adventist Hospital. If there's a topic that's of concern to you that you want to see Dr. Diane discuss, email us at 11am at thedenverchannel.com or check the doctor's section under Staying Healthy.